Hello Internet, I'm Fireball and welcome to Quantum Conundrum. This is sort of like a sort of portal style thing. You don't get to use portals, you get to use another, another device, which I'll get into. It's actually narrated by, uh, what's his face? I can't actually remember his name, but he's the guy that plays Q in Next Generation and Deep Space Nine and just Q in general. It says do a thing, so I shall. New game, it's sort of a, it's just a sort of a puzzle game in, in that portal style, it's first Once person. Upon a time. Oh. That's how these things usually start, yes? Yeah, I would guess so. sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had oh. somehow gotten it in her head that he <laughs> might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. <laughs> and so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my, uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now you, I right. mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he very humble this person. Slick and cutting edge. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. And I guess that's where the game starts. So this would be, I guess you see, trying to find your uncle in his mansion of some kind. Yeah, sorry about lag, there didn't seem to be much in the way of video options, but that's just my laptop, I think. Into the foyer, I will okay. join you as soon as I can. Oh, I'm very strong, I can just lift this up up here. No effort whatsoever. Fling it over there. I didn't really fling very well. I believe you can pick up pretty much every object. Well, except a sofa, because that's a bit heavy for you. But yeah, I can just pick that up. Throw that over there. Lovely. I'm sure you'll enjoy his broken lamp. Need to take it through to the foyer. For your whatever. Okay. Right, there we go. Oh, you confounded machine. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking to me. I was like, okay. <laughs> What's this book here? I mean, I'll need to put it on the floor so I can read it. The Wizard of Osmium. I do. I think all the books have puns on them, which is quite nice. I what is that? I told you to bring your luggage with you. Apparently, children of this generation aren't the best at listening. Yeah, I'm take. I took it, mate. Oh right, I have to. Ah, uh, that's a hint. I have to take it as a platform. It's a ridiculously high switch oh, for a normal door. A safety release for the door up there somewhere. Ah, yeah. God, the lag making is quite difficult to platform with. I hope that's not important for timing later. Wait a minute. Something isn't quite right here. Just carried my luggage through to here. Oh no, 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 no! Uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? Everything's just going a bit mad. Okay. Wait, what just happened? Everything went all crazy and wibbly. Why is there a 1, a 3, and a Q, and an E? I'm guessing those are keys for something. Yeah, because they're like next to each other, almost. I am. Right. As if I can still tap into the intercom system. Well, I most certainly can do better than this. Testing, testing. I testing, wouldn't mind testing, a little bit of lighting. Testing. There. Ha. Huh. Much better. Oh, there we go. What in the world are you doing here? Were you supposed to be here today? No matter. Um. Well, I have no idea. Underwhelming amount of light in this room. We're still on backup power. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. Do me and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. Right. Last I remember, okay. I was in the new technology sector and then... I don't know. He might, he might have a concussion now. Can I go through this door? No. Uh, what do I need? Oh, it just takes a while for it to it's like automatic doors that are just way too late. If you head over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. Left. I know my right. No, no, that's right. <laughs> left. Click that. Find blueprint to use and open your uncle's research 
and development. Throw that switch there. Right. It should be the one. Which one? Ah, this one. No, I don't mean to pick up a fucking... What is that? A calculator? Is that a cassette? Might be. Or some sort of videotape. Well, that wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Oh, great. Just, uh, take the glove in the box with you. I wish you could see my... You're gonna smash it with your fancy calculator or cassette or whatever it is. There we go. Right, What's this is your device. Is early prototype of the interdimensional ship device. That's actually a photo of it there. Well, painting. It's one piece of my latest invention painting. that should come in handy. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe I have any of the powers yet. If you can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. It seems as if the brain. You just got unlocked. paintings of mustaches well, here. I... Let's go for here. There's something I must tell you. My latest invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. Uh, I mean, <laughs> visited. Ah, oh, I need to pull the switch. Right. Who the fuck has switches for every door in their house? Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. Right. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. Oh, I'm guessing that's what the glove does. This it, door guess. is using one of my inventions, the repetitive, periodic, articulating brewery <laughs> day. It's just a... a drinking bird. Except it's... I'm gonna steal this. I'm gonna call it Desmond. Ah, you're actually meant to steal that. No, Desmond! <laughs> Because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few... Some bizarre painting too. Why have you got two of the same painting? I think they're the same painting. Oh, that's more grumpy. Switch that lever. Lever, whatever you want to say. I can't remember which one's the uh, American pronunciation, which one's the right one. Get through here. This is such an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a That's door, mad. the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. There's Flump. an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions. Which in this case is... Fluffy Dimension! Lovely. Oh, he's... <laughs> adorable, it's also rather useful. Because everything is ten times lighter than normal. And I can pick up the safe. Ow. <laughs> you wouldn't want to stub your toe with that. Whee! You set to go over here and then leap up here. Seriously, get some better stairs, man. Though that looks like a regular scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity. Have a look at some of these books. The Quark of Monte Cristo. Is that the Count of Monte Cristo? Bayer what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking for the puns of these. Flip, flip, fill it. Up. Seven, not something or whatever. Root seven brides for root minus seven brothers. What? <laughs> Ah, fuck you. There we go. Why does it always sound like things are fucking breaking in here? There's that lovely bird again. What is this? Sometimes oh, it's a battery for that. Oh, I got that right. I think I must have heard that in uh, where I heard the game from a uh, new coup video. Fuck you. An alternate dimension. But, uh, let me try that again. You remain constant, so no matter the dimension. Uh. Your mass, shape, speed, and time personality Fine. remain the same. Shit, there we go. And because that's a weighted thing, when it goes fluffy, it can't actually press that down. So you get to play with weight uh, mechanics for a bit. For now, it's just light and normal weighted stuff, but uh, you'll get into other things later, I believe. Seriously though, fix your stairs, man. It's a health and safety hazard. You just want to kill old people. Or me. You should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. Oh, uh, not great for me. Where? Was that big circular thing? Was it the big receptacle shaped thing? What's that? Eesh. I don't think that's a receptacle. Well, the stairs up here. The receptacle which... is up on the second floor alcove. Ah, you throw it the right. That there receptacle will distribute the power source around the room, allowing right. you to now use your IDS device. Fluff, flump, flump. So that moves up and down when I go into fluffy and normal. Right, Hitchhiker's Guide to Dimensions. Right, so fluff this up. Do 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 do. Fluff this down. 
And that door should open, right? Great. As I mentioned, dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS. Fuck you. Right. <laughs> they call it the wild binomial. I feel like a lot of these jokes might go over my head a bit. This is what enables Ow, did I just fucking hit my head on the door by jumping? Not the door, the archway, whatever. Bonk. <laughs> Bonk. Concussion. Okay. Hucking stuff. Dolly. Dynamic object linear ligation interface. To you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Why? <laughs> you just threw a fucking safe at me. I'll need to tune that later. You cunt. And I can't switch between dimensions yet, so... Because I haven't got a battery in here. All of these books. They're all the same book, which is Great Exponentation. <laughs> ah, the battery's here. Cool beans. Just put that in there. Flump. And I can now go fluffy. Ah, so I want to probably pick up that safe and use it to weigh down uh, whatever was over here. Ah, fuck off, all of you. There we go. And that's down there. Right. Why? Why? These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium dope yttrium aluminum. You're not a fucking bank, mate. And this would be a very fucking secure bank and probably not actually portable. But anyway. Weigh that down, that should be fine. That opens that door, but I need to get across there somehow. Okay, I'll need uh, something to... Hang on, what's this button do? Ah, it's a cloning device. Not sure if you can be killed by flying safes from those things, so... Best be careful. Also, don't want that uh, laser to start killing me, so... Actually, yeah, just throw it over there, right? Ah, good. I was worried that I'd slightly overshot it, but it's quite a big thing so that you can throw it without it overshooting. I thought I'd have to time that so that I weight it down at the right time. The of this there. Class is a evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. I'll need something heavier. Um, this button might do. Don't switch dimensions, you can't. Oh, it shattered automatically. Oh, that thing shattered it. Okay, and that's weighed that down so I can get through here. Some weird orange gel by the looks of it. Not sure what that does. Go through here and click this button. Just letting you know that you reset the glass. Thank you. What? Ah, do I have to switch it to the right dimension? For some reason that generates glass out somewhere, so if I switch that to the right dimension then that won't shatter. Interestingly enough, if it's already there without any momentum, will it shatter if I switch it? Yes it will. Good, because I need that to open this door, but I need something there, I need to open that... Hang on, can I... Can I bring that through here? Can't grab it. Uh, there must be something over here. Will the sofa weigh it down? I hope so. I mean, I can't pick it up normally, so I'm assuming it's heavy enough. There we go, good. And then get the safe. Hang on, what am I actually weighing down? Oh, that weighs down it all, so... Need to be doing something with this. Can I get that through... Where is it? Here. Can I get that... Oh, if you swing around too fast, you drop it. Can I... No, that's not ever gonna fit. Um... Oh, that uh, creature there is an interdimensional kinetic entity, or Ike. Ah, can I hit him? Cunt. Right, so I've just thrown that over here, then throw that over that way, go through this door. Oh, and I actually hit the weight thing, because I'm so cool. Right, so I'm through this way. Stop for a minute and take a look at the painting. The machine I referred to as Dolly started out as a simple metal forge that had been in the family since medieval times. The original quadrangle suit of armor was actually I couldn't give a shit. in this very forge. Why have you got so many paintings of this thing? Why does that have a tongue? Okay, so there's already a cell in here. Can I actually put that in other slots? No, that doesn't work. What does this button do? Ah. Ah. Hang on, shit. So if I if I turn it fluffy at the right time, then that'll go up and then no, I need to get exact right aim. 
There we go. Smash the glass. And that is one switch down. Fluff that up. Go in there. And then the door opens. Great. Ah, that's where that got to. That is a botched experiment of mine yeah. called the awkward noise generator. There's got to be more around here somewhere. <laughs> I think I'm... Oh, was that all just for one fucking... Yeah, I could have just gone through the glass at any time, but, you know, Stand I have commitment. So much easier than carrying things yourself. Yeah, but why do you have a laser here? Ow. Right. Uh, just fluff this up. Then put that there. What was that done? Let's open up that door. Uh, but I need to use this at the right moment to just get up there. Alright, simple platforming. There we go. And up here. And up here. Right. And up this. My location a whole lot, but it seems as if I'm in some sort of limbo. Ah, uh, right. I think I may explore a bit and see what turns up. What? <laughs> I think he's sort of stuck between dimensions then. So if I pick this up, is that glass? Yes. But if I throw it and uh, turn it heavy at the right time, you, there we go. Are a degenerate. Turn on that. Now, can I actually be caught in fan blades? No, good. If I turn this fluffy, I've already got something there. It's not actually lifting me up at all, though, fortunately. Hang on, if I do that, then get over to here. Ah, but I need to grab that. Ah, shit. There we go. Then just turn that fluffy again, move that over to here. That goes heavy, and we open this door. Nice. Uh, now that fang maybe could kill me. I'm not sure if you're actually able to die. It's perhaps a bit less sinister than Portal in that way. No, you just get pushed back a bit. Okay, just hit this button then. If I turn that light, that's basically shoved up against the wall. Okay, hang on. I want to test something. Go up here. Because if it's just pinning it against the wall, then I could sort of pin it here. And hope that it doesn't fall down. Yes, cool. Right. I need to time a jump right. And then leap. There we go. And we'll unfluffify that. Fluffify to my favourite word now. <laughs> I like that when you go into the fluffy dimension, she just gets an afro. Don't think anything changes about the cat though. Anyway, just push that button. And a bunch of safes fall out from... God knows where. Why is glass just smashing randomly? Uh, so we got big fan here. Make that all light and that gets pinned to the side of that. Where do I actually want it to go? Could I use these as they are to get up somewhere? I'll need to arrange it slightly better. You up there, that should do. Sort of make it a staircase. And you can just go... Oh, I might want to tint a bit lower, there we go. Hopefully I can still get up to here. Come on. Yeah, there we go, and... There we go, okay. Now I can turn on this. Right, so what do I want to do with this? We'll need to fluffify this. This room often gets rather sweltering in the summertime. Air circulation is very... Oh, that goes, like, right up to there. Where do I actually need to go? Do I just go, like, straight up on one of these? Whee! Oof up. And there we go. That falls a bajillion miles down. And makes a huge clunk. Why are you looking at me like that? Please don't fucking spit a safe at me. I turn that on. Right, so they just keep launching stuff from there, presumably. Or do every time I click the button. Ah, yes. Yeah, this might be a bit of a dangerous platforming bit. I think you can die because you can fall down there. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> of course I die when you have uh, the first chance. Thing number 41, you will never experience lying about your weight to yourself. Okay, thanks, I guess. Uh, they're way too low for me to get anywhere with that. Can I... I can't grab that from here. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna just have to hope that I can make that jump. N no, I can't. Uh. <laughs> Thing number 275, you will never experience being marginally successful at paying your bills on time. Oh, well, um, shut up. Don't uh, shout. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck you. Oh, cunt. That's slightly better. Hopefully I can actually make this jump now. Okay. There we go. Eep. And come on, come on, come on. Just leap. There we go. That took way too long. 
Why do you have fucking death gaps in the middle of your house for air circulation? It's a little too high, so I'll need to time this right. Uh, no, you didn't even jump there. Just forgot. You'll never experience getting caught using a fake ID. Doesn't say that I'll never use a fake ID, but I'll never get caught, which is good, I guess. I mean, it's probably not great if I'm actually using one, but whatever. Come on, just just drop down a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, just so I can actually get across. That should be fine. All right, this is a relatively big leap here. You, and then you. There we go, good. And then just unfluffify that, pull this lever, and there's something up here. Like, hang on, just pull the fucking bookcase down. You need to knock around. And, yeah. I will, there we go. Specifications, you should be able to recreate several objects in the research and development lab adjacent to my office. I just basically collect what you don't need to get them. This is one of the animals that Dolly cloned to rather, well, Intriguing results. I can't fluffify that. Thus was produced the world's first and only fully elastic dog. I named her <laughs> Angstrom. That's probably a joke. Ah, you've moved so, on yeah. to a part of the manor where another type of dimension. It's collodiophobia. This is the gravid wolfram dimension, or heavy for short. Okay. This dimension is in direct opposition to the fluffy dimension and will make things ten times heavier. Ah, yes, so these cardboard boxes in the heavy dimension I can't actually lift. Unfortunately, my weight doesn't seem to change in every dimension. I don't actually have six of these, though. So. That goes heavy and those are activated. What have I done? Jesus, what the fuck? <laughs> Just press that again so I can activate all the rest of them. Oh, that deletes the past ones. Well, hopefully these are enough. These are a bunch of safes. <laughs> ah, fucking hell. Oh, and they've just disappeared. Right, so I need to keep those cardboard boxes there. I'll hope that that works. Hang on, so... Bit gonna make a staircase here. So I need this one to launch, then I need this one to launch, I don't know. So what does that do? Still not very helpful. I really must just be missing something really fucking obvious. No, no, that's definitely not how you're supposed to do this puzzle. Hang on, if I could jump across these, hang on, so try this there and then i can jump down off of there onto here and then make my way across i think that's the only way i can think of doing it oh, i took off the wrong one so that should be it right that goes heavy they get launched over there now i can jump down <sighs> i missed ah fuck then can i jump onto it there we go i have to be Ah, fuck. This is really annoying to platform with. Come on. Over there. That took me way too fucking long. But I'm finally over and I can pull this switch. Some dimensions are tightly bound together, like the one we're in right now. And also the fluffy and heavy dimensions. Right. What about the other ones? Uh, we have a battery here. Does that mean we can now use these interchangeably? So say I decided to shove it down here. No, that's still fluffy. That's very fluffy. All these spots are just fluffy. Uh, but make this light and then... That red battery will provide enough energy to ah, the right. To so it's not that different slots do different things, it's that different batteries do different things. So this is a heavy battery. Although it's not actually very heavy because I can lift it fine. So if I sh shove that in there, then with Q I can make everything go heavy. Uh, meaning that this cardboard box will because that's already weighing that down normally that going heavy won't actually lift up so both being heavy means that that can open up if that makes any sense right so we got this thing launching cardboard boxes over here and then this now i'm gonna hope that making this heavy oh I was going to say, I, I hope that making this he heavy makes it mean to lasers, but 
actually just breaks the glass because I forgot about that actually just weighing as much as a safe when it's like that. So if I throw this and then turn it into heavy, then that'll break that glass. And I can go through here. Right. There seems to be a large expanse of piles and pits filled with various random objects. <laughs> Mansfield Pulsar. Not sure what that's about. No, not where you are. Here, in this confounded place. Are those... I wasn't actually listening to him, so I have no idea what he's talking about. Fussy. Ugh. Plus. It's no way to Fluffy. Right. I don't actually have the Fluffy power, though. I'm guessing that's what I'm trying to get. Right, so that... Nice job. Just no, really. incinerates that. Now I'm assuming it's immune to lasers if it's heavy. And higher yeah. Points of items in heavy dimension, quadrangle laser beams are rendered rather ineffectual. <laughs> That's kind of freaky. Is he all right? Right. Okay. Hang on. Uh, so uh, I can't pick up sofas because I'm not in fluffy. Uh, but if I just hit this button, what does that do? That opens up all of these. Making a bunch of safes. Ah, so I have this laser comes along and eliminates them. So I have to switch between heavy and uh, normal so that I make up a stairway. Right, right. So the first three need to be eliminated, but then go heavy there. Right, that works actually. I, that, I kind of accidentally made that work. Okay, up here, and then here, and then it. And then you, yeah. right? So now Ike gave me my fluffy thing and shove that in there. Now I can switch between them, uh, which um, makes that turn into a lovely kitten. <laughs> so, so it's quite a bit of a bizarre sense of humor this game. Why do I actually want that fluffy? Ah, so it's I can lift one of these sofas and then put that into there, make that heavy. Come on, come on, come on. Just... Shit. <laughs> a wide sofa should do the job better. Right, so, throw that. Shit. I might need to be a little bit closer. Throw, tough, no shit. Okay, so now I can... This should be slightly better at stopping. There we go, good. Perfect, and go through here. Fortunately, I can't switch all the cats to... Fluffington the fourth, or Widget the first. Right. He somehow wound up in one of the Dolly cloning control units. Right. Needle in a haystack. Oh, fuck me. What are these things? Note that if you disrupt the blue beam, it should deactivate something. Ah. Right. Okay, I'll do this one last puzzle, and then I'll probably end it there, because these are getting a little complicated. And actually, I don't want to spoil every puzzle. Right. Okay. I'm not entirely sure how many BEDs of radiation that emits. Hope you're not looking to have children later. Oh great. Which if I disrupt this. I'll need something a bit taller. Uh these should do the trick. Uh what oh it's a fan, so it's blowing them all over there. Uh meaning I need to get some sort of heavy dimension thing going on. Right. What does this actually do if I deactivate it? Right, but I can't deactivate that for actually very long without it falling over. And there's got to be something useful back here. There's not really, no. That's just a... Ah, there's a dolly unit you know, up there, though. Where does that go, though? Ah, yeah, I've missed this out entirely. Power unit there. Hang on, so get my cardboard box and stack the other one that's been blown over there on top of it and then I should be able to disrupt that and get a fluffy thing so um not actually sure what that'll do but will hopefully be useful uh it will mean that I'll be able to lift that safe into a position where it can disrupt that laser and when it's in normal mode it won't actually be uh disrupted right fucking hell this stack actually if I just stack something on top of this and that should do me Ike gives me that and I should find there then I, everything goes a bit fluffy. I take that out. Now this hopefully is tall enough to stop this by itself. It is not by the looks of things. My cardboard boxes here, will you do anything? Actually, 
Hit this, what does that do? That generates a heavy cell. I should have pressed that in the first place and then I'd actually be able to keep the cardboard boxes in place. And it also generates fucking everything, apparently. Okay, where did the heavy cell go though? Come on. The heavy cell's gotta be in here somewhere. Hang on, no. I can just generate them again. Be ready to catch it this time. Get that. There we go. So it doesn't get buried. And then I can uh, shove that in there. And now things won't fly away anymore when I uh, try and leave them there. Okay. Turn that cue. There we go. But I will need a cardboard box for my next bit. Okay, so go Q. There we go. And that deactivates that. How helpful is that actually? Oh wait, no, if I just turn it fluffy again, then that deactivates. But that painting yeah. me. She looks like a horrible mutant koala situation. That's just him normal. That's a lead balloon and that's just him floating off after he's by the looks of it eaten the balloon. Right, anyway, just pull the switch and that should be that puddle done. And then I'll probably be ending the video there because this is actually a story-based game and a puzzle-based game and puzzles don't really work when you already know the solution. I know, <laughs> terrible books incoming. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end it there. So goodbye, Dolly. There we go, that's her way of saying goodbye, she just gives you a cardboard box. And Desmond just bobs up and down a bit. He's not bobbing up and down yet, weirdly, despite the fact that he's still got all his components there, but whatever. Desmond, fuck you. I, I like this game. It's got some interesting puzzles to do with waiting, and I think, um... I've not gotten to 1 and 3, what they do yet, but from the looks of it, at the start of that, one of them's like anti-gravity or something, so that would probably get quite interesting, the way you play with that. But already, like, I'm just... I mean, I'm figuring out the puzzles, uh, but just, it takes me a while. <laughs> Which may be frustrating for some of you that are quite used to puzzle games, but whatever. Yeah, it's got quite interesting sense of humour and uh, charming, if not arrogant, narration from... Uh, it's Quincy something. It's not. It's John something. You know what? Fuck it. That's really annoying me. I'm gonna go look up who plays Q. Yeah. John Delancey, apparently. I got the John bit, but Quincy's not right. I was probably thinking of John Quincy Adams or something. If puzzle games are your thing, then yeah, maybe have a look at this. I do quite enjoy that there's just little science jokes hidden out and about, especially in just books. Despite the fact that most people probably don't bother to read them. I have been Fireball and this has been Fireball Reviews Quantum Conundrum. Bye. Thanks for watching. We'd really appreciate if you support us on various things, obviously subscribing on YouTube, Twitch, following us on Twitter or Facebook. We have a Discord server that you can join and talk to us and other people, and a website where you can check out blog posts. And obviously this isn't free for us to run, so if you'd like to support us financially, we have a Patreon page where you can donate monthly and get subscriber rewards. We also have a Stream Elements tipping page where you can make one-off donations. The links are all in the description. Farewell. See you next time.